Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Descriptive Statistics, Question 9, Normal Distribution, One-Sided Confidence Interval, The Lower Bound. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order your complete review package. Let's delve into the question. Question 9, Normal Distribution. Mm -hmm. The amount of orange soda that McDowell's restaurant sells in a day is normally distributed with a mean of 800 ounces and a standard deviation of 60 ounces. How many ounces of orange soda should the manager have on hand at the beginning of the day to be 97.7% sure she will not run out? Definitely press pause if you need to. And if you don't know what the answer is, sit tight. We're going to um, go through the solution in a little bit. All right. So let me pull this thing up right here. Okay. This is what's called a normal distribution curve. And it results from the accumulation of lots and lots and lots of um, random data values. These varying data values occur or are chosen without any form of conscious decision making and they are sometimes referred to as random variables. And in this case we're going to um, be seeing a lots of different amounts of orange soda uh, being sold on different days of business over the lifetime of the McDowell's restaurant. Any data that is normally distributed forms this bell-shaped curve that you can see here. Um, when the frequency of the data, that means how often one particular value occurs, is plotted against increments of the standard deviation of the data set. Okay. Now the area under this entire curve is 100% and I hope you have this on an enlarged viewing um, option because it's really tiny here but if you blow it up you could probably deduce from a visual scan of a diagram that everything here adds up to 100%. Okay. And let's just say for example sake in the interval between two sigma when I say sigma, I mean um, like population standard deviations. Let's just say basically, um, so okay, how can I explain this? So here goes one sigma below the mean, okay? That's 0 0.5 to the left or negative 0 0.5. And here goes one sigma above the mean. That's 0 0.5 or a half. A, stand, a standard deviation. This range between one standard deviation below at the mean and one standard deviation above the mean represents the percentage of scores that can be expected to fall within one standard deviation, either to the left or to the right, or whether you refer to it as below and above, okay? So one standard deviation away from the actual average of the data set or the mean of the data set, okay? And so um, what we have here is 19.1% on the lower end and 19.1% on the upper end for a total of 38.2% of data values having their location being 0 0.5 or half a standard deviation from the mean in either direction. Okay, so I'm trying to speed up along here because I'm taking a little bit too long. Um, all right, so getting back to our original question stem, we have that 800 ounces is the mean located at the center um, of our normal distribution and in order not to run out of orange soda sales for the day must be less than what is on hand at the beginning of the day okay so let me specify what i mean by that the manager 
must find the value on the normal distribution curve where the sum of percentages to the left is 97%, okay? Or the lower bound confidence interval, that's the statistic, descriptive statistics way of referring to this, is 97%. And it's a lower bound because we're reading everything to the left as shown in this diagram here. So if we were looking at everything to the right, it would be an upper bound confidence interval because on any number line, traveling to the right is traveling to the greater direction, positive, however you uh, orient it in your mind, okay? And if you look at this particular scenario from the opposing perspective, um, the manager basically wants 100% minus 97.7% or 2.3% 2 2 probability, okay, of not, of running out of orange soda. So only a, she only wants there to be a 2.3% chance that she'll run out of orange soda, okay? The fastest way to calculate this 2.3% probability of running out um, that we're interested is to just simply add the last three confidence intervals on the right. So for the first one, we get 0.1% plus 0.5% plus 2.3%, uh, plus um, I mean 1.7%. And you'll realize that when you get up to 0 0.1 plus 5, which 0, plus 0 0.5, which gives you 0 0.6, uh, plus 1.7, you're going to realize you've already hit your 2.3% mark. So this is a 2.3% chance of running out of orange soda. But what this actually means, now this is the non-mathematical part where you have to use common sense, is that the amount of soda on hand basically has to be greater than 1.5 um, 1.5 standard deviations above the mean, okay? But actually, do you even need to know all that? I don't even think you need to know all that. So let's just move on. Forget that I said that. So um, we see here that the 2.3% likelihood of running out or a lower bound 97.7% con confidence interval of not running out occurs two standard deviations away from the mean in uh you know in the upward direction okay so moving right along um two standard deviations above the mean is going to be 800 plus two times our actual standard deviations we're not going to go by these which we're told is 60, which you probably cannot see. I think it's right here, yeah. We, if you recall earlier, we were told the standard deviation is 60. So 2 times 60 or 920 ounces. So she has to have 920 ounces on deck to be sh exactly 97.7 for sure that she won't run out, okay? All right, thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.